Good morning, dogs, and welcome back. Hooligans, Charlie Brown, and more right after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and invisible, with liberty and justice for all. Since Holden isn't here to pick up on the drama alert on keeping up with the hails, we'll discuss that tomorrow. Let me give you the recap on the weekend and what's to come. Last Friday was the first hooligan show of the year, and after a long fight between the two teams, the Reindeer Rangers and the Sweet Santas, it dramatically ended in a tie. Thank you to everyone that came out and supported the show, and we hope to see you sometime in the future. Also, the FHS Music Department is hosting their Merry Christmas Charlie Brown show. Be sure they bring your friends and family on December 17th at 7 p.m. here at the high school. Tickets are $5 for students and $7 for adults. And just by chance, our on-location crew happened to catch up with some of the members to talk a little bit about the show. Good morning, hot dogs. This year's winter concert's coming up, and it's going to be a little bit different this year. So let's learn a little more about it. Hello, I'm Paige Butcher. Um, this year's concert, I'm really excited for everything that we're going to be uh, doing. Um, all the kids and the band and choir and, I guess, theater are going to be all together, and we're going to be doing this huge play. Um, I'm really outside, excited for the outcome. <laughs> this year's songs, um, some are very difficult. Uh, we have a lot of flats in our songs because they're Christmas songs. Um, but they're really fun, and I hope we will do well playing. Hello, I'm Eli Grasham, and I'm playing Charlie Brown in the Christmas musical that you will be doing here at FHS. I am, quite frankly, ecstatic. I cannot be more excited for it. We've been doing choreography for our dance numbers, and boy, is it fun. I'm just so excited to, to put on a good show here. My favorite thing is uh, it, it's it's a new way, it's a new thing that we can do as, as a music department to perform for people and, and to do something different. I love theater and I love choir, and to be able to blend them in, in this concert here with the band and the orchestra is just amazing. It feels great. I mean, I will never try to say that I deserve something more than any, anyone else, but to be cast as a lead, it's a great honor. Um, of course, Charlie Brown is an iconic character, and to be able to play Charlie Brown is just really, it's really neat. I'm really excited for it. Come see the Christmas concert slash musical, uh, Charlie Brown Christmas, December 17th at, I believe it's 6 or 7 p.m. Hello, I am Miss Wood and I teach the choir. Um, well, it really wasn't my idea, it was um, Mr. Taylor's idea and from there it was really a collaborative effort between me, Mr. Hutton, and Mr. Taylor and we've just kind of been working together on it. Really well, uh, right now we've been working on singing and dancing and then after break we're gonna block through all of the scenes and uh, it'll be really great, but it's, crunch time so we don't have a whole lot of time to get everything figured out but I think it's gonna come together really nicely. I think I'm most excited to see the end result and see everyone in their costumes, all the dances, singing and watching all of the band and orchestra and choir students working on this collaboration together. I think it'll be really cool. That's all for today's special announcements. I hope you're as excited as we are for the winter concert. Thanks for watching and we'll hope you tune in next time. Remember to mark your calendars and save the date for December 17th. And that's all for the spotlight for me, and I'll send it off to sports and weather. What's up, dogs? The boys' basketball team came up short this weekend on the road. Friday night at Tipton, the dogs lost to a very good Blue Devils team, 83-63. to Kai Kirby led the way with 21 points. Victor Cruz added 10 with 5 boards. Christopher Russell added 8 with 5 boards. Jaden Skinner added 8 and Farley with 7. Then on Saturday night, the dogs fell short to the Western Panthers, 54 to 43. Alex Farley led the way with 10 points. Kai Kirby added eight with six assists. Christopher Russell with seven. 
and with six points each from Doug Wood and Victor Cruz. They played their first home game Friday night against Tri-West. Go support. And on Saturday morning, the wrestling team traveled to Western Boone to compete in the duels. Went one and four throughout the day, facing most of the Sagamore Conference. The dogs were able to come out on top against the Warriors. And Nelson Armon with, was the only undefeated wrestler of the day. And that's all, that's all that happened this weekend. So now back to Addison with your weather report. Thanks, Carlos. This morning it was a crisp 25 degrees out, and it will thankfully start to get a little warmer throughout the day. The low for today is 25, and the high is 43. You can expect partly cloudy skies for all of this week and also today, with possible rain on Thursday and Friday. You might want to pack your shades this week, dogs. That's all for today's weather report, and now I'll send it back to your hosts. Thanks, Addison. Word around the halls is that Santa Byers has his proclaimed elves roaming the halls. We are on the lookout for students to throw on the naughty list. Make sure you're on your best behavior because believe it or not, he's always watching. Congratulations to Anthony Frigo on an outstanding performance with the Indiana State University All-Star Band this weekend. We are proud of you. A happy birthday goes out to Zachary Berkshire, Nick Ewing, and Samuel Flores. And lunch for today in lines one and two, beef nachos. Line three is Ronatoni. And line four is French bread pizza. That is all for today's morning announcements. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and have a marvelous Monday.